Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangelosi and that's a new course uh, from CG Cookie on Max Cookie to talk about fluids and particles. Uh, this time we talk about an explosion over a mountain. So we'll try to make the setup to uh, obtain something like this uh, preview. Uh, it is a rough preview I prepared for you. So you see we have an explosion over uh, a mountain and then we have all the dust moving over the surface. So you see we have obviously no effects, so we have just a rough simulation. So you see that at the beginning it's not so nice, but we have to, uh, to think about just the uh, uh, setup to obtain uh, this result. You see that we have a mixture of fluids moving at different uh, with different setup and different behavior and we are simulating also uh, a big scale dust so uh, the um, the scene setup is really simple you see uh, we just modeled uh, a really basic and rough um, uh, mountain and we have a particle flow setup to generate uh, the particles at the beginning, so you see we have three different passes and layers to simulate the explosion over the mountain and you see that we have here the particles so it will be really simple to be set up and that's, that's just a way, just a workflow to obtain something like that. Obviously there are many ways to simulate uh, this kind of scene. Um, we can see other properties of the scene you see that we have just a mountain and we have a ground and we have two film effects simulator there to simulate two different passes for our dust simulation so you see that's for example the top area uh, it is not so, na uh, so fast to move because the cache is uh, really big and you see that there we have the other passes the big one and you see that that's really really huge and we'll see how to simulate something like that how to control the dynamic properties using the uh, particle system and also the uh, animation parameters there inside the simulation and we'll see how to take care about uh, a good level of detail and then we'll see how to control the rendering to obtain a nice looking quality as you saw over uh, this preview there. So that's uh, a basic setup that works really nice and uh, it can be really really useful to simulate something more complex and bigger just manipulating the various parameters and obtain a new and more powerful and higher resolution um, simulation. So let's start uh, checking all the part of this course. 